If sailors' tales to sailors' tunes, storm and adventure, heat and cold, if schooners' islands, and maroons and buccaneers and buried gold, and all the old romance retold exactly, can please as me they pleased of old, the wiser youngsters of today, so be it. Ha -ha! Two hundred gold sovereigns with my ship, the faithful of security. Make your throw. <laughs> Why, you double dealing swab, these dice be loaded. I'll take that paper myself. <laughs> Easy, my hearty! Robin fit to burst. It's a marvel you're still alive. I don't know why I bothered to help you. Dicing away your substance. Well, I told you them dice was loaded, didn't I? The bigger fool you for being took in and losing your ship. Well, I, I, I only borrowed 200 sovereigns, and I got three days to pay him back. And where are you going to be finding 200 sovereigns in three days? Uh, are you hinting that my my credit in Portobello be so low that I can't raise such a such a paltry sum? I ain't hinting. I'm telling it to you. He's probably proposing to get it from you. Me? Huh, I wouldn't give him a penny. And since he can't get it from elsewhere... Well, anyway, why should either of you care if I am marooned here without a ship? I say good riddance to your ship, and maybe without it you'd settle down ashore and lead a decent, honest life. <laughs> Doing what? I told you before, and I say it again. Half the casket anchor be yours the day you lead me to the altar. That's bribery and corruption. I will not be pushed around, woman. All right, then. Stew in your own juice, ungrateful swab. Ah, women. Iron hand, they be queer cattle. I never could fathom them. Well, since you know you love me so bad, why don't you marry her and be done with it? Well, it ain't that bad. <laughs> Something will turn up. I, I, I can feel it in me bone. <laughs> to meet for him, too. Well, bless me soul. Long John Silver. Why, it is Devil Dixon. Please, I've done with that name long since. Bartholomew Dixon, at your service. <laughs> well, well, 
The last time I heard of you, uh, they was fixing for you to dance at the end of a rope in Dartuger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a new man now, Long John. And tis a new life I'm leading. <laughs> Took the king's pardon. Uh, and I've taken to honesty and fair trading. <laughs> what would you know about honesty or fair trading? <laughs> I know this much. It pays dividends. I've my own ship. I've money put aside for me later years. And never the shadow of fear these days when I see a uniform. It is a good feeling. Your food, sir. Thank you kindly. Oh, Miss Pinker, is it not? Tis a name I've heard a thousand times. And always well spoken of. Please be seated. Thank you, ma'am. We were talking of the virtues of honesty. Oh, I heed no precious little of that. I was hoping you'd see it as I do, Long John. It could make you a rich man. Rarrow. I make me fortune carrying livestock to the nearby islands. The need is greater than I can handle with my single ship. Be you suggesting that I... I should set sail with a, with a shipload of foul-smelling animals? Sheep and goats and pigs are fetching fabulous prices. Pigs. Pigs and goats. Well, now it might be that for the sake of making an honest profit. Woman, I be a sailor and no swine herder. I'll never do it. Never. Pigs and goats. Tell me more about them animals. A foul plague has struck down most of the stock. The settlers will pay any price to replace them. Well, now, don't you mind, Long John. He might feel different about it once he's thought it over. <laughs> Come along, Iron Hand. I have an important errand I want you to do for me. Long John don't know it, but Miss Purity's important errand is for me to pass the word in Portobello so he can't get a loan from any of his usual sources for raising the wind. From door to door he goes, only to have every door slammed in his face. The days go by and the breath of ill fortune grows colder on his neck. He humbles himself, but his bad luck don't change. Bad luck, he thinks. <laughs> that period of grace is up and his pockets are as empty as ever. I've seen to that. <laughs> you don't have to lose it, Long John. Unless I turn her into a floating barnyard, I do. Well, Noah did it. Noah? Yeah, Noah's Ark. Ah, him and his Ark. <laughs> He were a farmer, not a sailor. <clears throat> Maybe he were, but he didn't lose his ship. Here, you've got a point there. And if anybody was to ask me, which they ain't, I'd be willing to bet that Miss Purity would pay for such a voyage. Of course, providing she could share in the profits. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's worth thinking about. <clears throat> and my guess would be, if I were asked, that she'd be willing to put up the 200 sovereigns. Her most interesting. All right, I, I'll give it a thought. Be that you, Iron Hand? Uh, no, uh, it's me, Long John. Come in. Well, well, I, I've come here in all humbleness, uh, begging your forgiveness. Go on. Uh, well, uh, 
Since seeing the change in Bartholomew, uh, I thought there may be something in this, this honest way of living. Then what do you propose to do about it? Well, well I, I, I thought I'd give it a try. Oh. No, no, I mean it. Oh, Long John, if I could only believe you. Uh, well, uh, uh, now, if I could get my ship back, then I, I, I'd take Dixon's offer. <laughs> oh, it's uh, 200 sovereigns, uh, uh, and you'd share in the profits. Uh, uh, then I'd come home to ye, honest-like, and uh, bring in you a kind of a, a dowry. You mean that, lover bird? You mean we'd be wed? Well, that's always been your wish. In John, you shall have the money. Ah, blessy. You'll never know how much this chance to mend my ways means to me. Ah, oh, Long John. <laughs> and thank ye, lad, for delivering Miss Purity's message. We've struck a bargain. Pack your sea chest, Iron Hand. Her? He can read and count. Like you said, you've mended your ways, and seen as how I've an interest in this voyage, he can go along to keep the books. Honest, eh? Bar. Stand by to drop anchor! <laughs> Looks like Devil Dixon's ship anchored over yonder. Her uh, Bartholomew Dixon, lad. He made precious sure he got here well afore us, didn't he? You ain't suggesting he has something under and the foot, are you? Well... Are you surprised me, Pat? Ain't I told you this be an honest enterprise? Just the same, I'd keep a sharp eye to windward. Honest gentlemen must trust one another. Iron Ann! Yes, sir! Uh, uh, I got a little job for you. Uh, yes, Captain. Uh, you be small and can keep out of sight. Now, now, you take a boat to shore and, and, and spy out the lay of the land. <laughs> but don't let Mr. Bartholomew clap eyes on me. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I'm glad to see you ain't decided to be an honest gentleman. Uh, no, but I, I'm just keeping me eyes peeled as a precaution. <laughs> Silver's ship is unloading now. Get quite clear what you have to do. Si, senor. The money, please. Only ten. Well? You promised twenty. So? I have my pride, senor. My loyalty is not for sale. So cheap. You'll do as you're told. Si, senor. Here and see that he does. Uh, I see. Uh, and you didn't hear what it was this... Not a word was spoken, except what I've already told you. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, uh, you've done a fine job of work. <laughs> thank you, Captain. Uh, now, uh, if you just fetch Patch and Stingley, uh, we'll uh, carry out my plan. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Uh, 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 now, the three of you will go ashore. Uh, you look after the paperwork. Aye, Captain. Uh, you'll present a tally of the cargo and get the money paid to you what we do to us. Aye. Uh, well, what do we do, Long John? Uh, see that he gets it. <laughs> we'll look after that, all right. Now, 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 stow that firearm. This will be peaceful trading. <laughs> Aye. Between honest men. Uh, 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 not that I'm seeing anything again, Bartholomew. Oh, no, but uh, uh, you might run into a bit of trouble, so keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> uh, and when you comes back aboard, I'll have a, a nice goat stew waiting for you to, to warm your honest belly. <laughs> <laughs> Here, now, now get going. <laughs> 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 
Here's the bill of lading, sir. The cargo is all ashore, checked and accounted for, except for one goat, which we've kept for meat. Thank you. We've no need to count it. We're all honest men here. Uno momento. There is a small bill you owe for duty, taxes, and anchorage. We know nothing about this. Anchorage, a hundred moidores. Duty on animals, a hundred fifty moidores. Taxes for the governor, a hundred fifty moidores. Total, four hundred. But we only got 600. This is robbery. I am very sorry. Just a minute. So you're in this too, are you? You and Devil Dixon. Come for it, I am. Wait for the ship. Longer, longer. We were betrayed. What? Patch and Stingley were seized. Where be the money? Here. Arr, they'll never get this. This be my first honest voyage, and I pledge I'll finish it honest. <laughs> Soldiers approaching! Here, go hide yourself in the in the forehead chain locker. Seal yourself up. Fenner! Fenner, come here! What was this that happened? <laughs> Fenner, them there soldiers approaching means that Dixon has betrayed us. Say the word, and we'll blow them out the water before they board. <laughs> no, no, lad. We'll uncover no cannon while we are trading peaceful. <laughs> and we be honest men, so we'll match their pattern. <laughs> and now I be going to my cabin. So when they comes aboard, I want you to bring this ear stew to me. Understand? You, you planning to entertain them? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we meet again, Silver. Ah, it is honest Bartholomew. <laughs> I thought it was the custom to knock on the door of a captain's cabin before coming in. <laughs> Who be your friend? At your service, Captain. Lieutenant Jose Mendoza. I am here to collect what is due to the honest citizens of this island. Taxes and customs duty. I regret there has been a grave breach. Don't breach. waste words. Search the ship. Start right here. <laughs> so this be the way of honest men. <laughs> we live and learn. <laughs> Put it down here. <laughs> uh, I was just about to have my supper. Uh, will you pardon me if I go in? You certainly will, Captain. Uh, uh, it is all my own cooking. <laughs> you always were a fine hand in the galley, Long John. Ah, and still be. Uh, uh, but if you're going to search me personal, uh, I'd be much obliged if you do it before I eat. If this is some sort of trickery, Silver, I'd think twice. But you know that two of your crew are in jail, and the cannon of my ship are trained on you. One false move, and I'll blast you from the water. We'll comb this ship from stem to stern. He would hide it in his cabin. Come with me. I have heard it said you are the best cook on the Spanish main. Now I believe it. <laughs> Would you care to join me? Grazie. And then sit down. <laughs> A noble stewel, Captain. <laughs> now I wonder how many more of those be in your bowl. 
Hmm, it is an interesting speculation. Yeah. Well, according to the recipe, I would say that uh, two Elpins would contain uh, 20 gold Madeiras. I should have expected more. Say, 25. Well, that might be if uh, my two men were released from jail and brought on board here by nightfall. The locks on our jails are very insecure. <laughs> uh, there might be even 30 if uh, Dixon's guns fail to fire. It is a good round sum. Never have I had for stew. <laughs> Money must be somewhere aboard. I'll find it if I have to tear the ship apart. You do not look well, Senor Dixon. What are you talking about? In fact, you look very ill. The guard you, the more ill you look. Don't talk nonsense. You had better come with me, I think. Spaniards played me false, I'll kill all him. Listen, Captain. Uh, Muffled oars. Ahoy! Here, be you all right? Aye! Up anchor! Aye! Aye! You fools! The faithful's raised anchor, she's sailing out of the bay! Take it calmly, senor. You are a sick man. You are in quarantine with the pox. I have no pox. The lieutenant has signed a paper to say that you have. Six hundred gold coins. Gold, such as would delight the heart of Miss Purity Pinker. If it's all gone for bribery to the Spaniard, as long John would have me believe, or if it found its way into his bottomless pocket, just the same. The whole transaction in figures for every pig, sheep, and goat of the cargo. Ah, here are the figures. But where's the gold? <laughs> This here, honest, he, he, it's worn me out. <laughs> I saved me neck by the skin of my teeth, but I, I had to throw all the profits overboard. Oh, but I, I'm too tired to talk about them now. I, I think I'll go up to my room and, and uh, uh, refresh myself. Oh, <laughs> 